What's going on everybody? Andy here, Cut and Clean Lawn Care. And if you subscribe to the channel, you know it's been a while since I've uploaded anything. It's been about a month. I do that sometimes. I don't like getting burned out doing the same thing. And when I'm constantly just doing lawn care and mower related stuff. I get burned out. So we've been doing a couple things on our other channel, G4 Outdoors, and just other things, man. I like to take a break from things that way I don't get burned out because I am that person that will burn myself out really quick. But in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the new Cub Cadet Ultima. I'm getting ready to head over to Randy's house because that's where I'm gonna have to store the mower for the majority of the time right now. Plus he has that field out in the back where I can really get into this mower and see how it works. But before we even get into talking about the mower itself, I do wanna let you guys know that this is a sponsored video from Cub Cadet. They did give me this mower for my thoughts and opinions. And with that being said, guys, Everything I say in any of these Cub Cadet Ultima videos is 100% my thoughts and opinions. They're not paying me to say it's good. They're not paying me to say it's bad. They're not paying me to say anything. All they're doing is providing this piece of machinery behind me for my personal thoughts and opinions. And some of you guys might also be thinking, Andy, cut and clean lawn care, why are you even talking about residential mowers? Because guess what? Before I was a commercial lawn care guy, owning my own business, I was a homeowner. You know what I'm saying? I did the residential route. I had the Craftsman LT1000s. Randy, one of my best friends, he's got a Cub Cadet right now. We're gonna pick this machine apart. I'm gonna try my best to not knock it in any way as far as comparing it to commercial equipment because this is a residential mower. But he's getting off work. I gotta head to his house, so let's get in there. Tell you guys what though it seems like everything we do we end up doing at night time on him to get home we got the mower all set up in the garage we got the lights all on it and ready to go and randy's home it's typical randy entrance what's going on man did the new cubby come in that's it that's the guy the ultima zt1 zt1 it looks cool doesn't it oh that is tough dude the tube frame not a lot of plastic everything's easy to get to it looks like a dope mower i really wanted to get some like mowing footage in this I know you said you're going to be home at noon, but stuff happens at work. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, I was going to do like the, just kind of make it like a reveal video and just show people since we're not going to be able to get mowing footage, it's dark, you know. It's a little dark out. I got professional lighting though. You want to, you want to use these camera lights? Let's do it. Let's do it. 18 hours. In typical cut and clean in G4 fashion, we're going to make sure we give you guys some kind of content in this video. It's dark, it's pitch black, but we're setting up some lights. And we're going to shoot some leaves out of this thing just to kind of show you guys the vacuum and the suction this thing does have if you want to call it right out of the box try not choking it half throttle
What do you think, man? As far as initial thoughts go, that from sucks using up the old lawn tractor over there. That sucks up a ton of leaves. It shoots a pretty good too, doesn't it? It does. It really does. <laughs> Any residential mower that I've owned before, which isn't a lot, I've had two. It seemed like it just kind of wanted to trickle the grass out the side a little bit. It's it's nighttime and I don't have a very good perspective of it right now. Hey, how about this? How about we talk about it? What's going on guys, Andy here, Cut and Clean Lawn Care, obviously Randy, G4 Outdoors. If you guys haven't had a chance, go over to G4 Outdoors and make sure you hit the subscribe button, man. Doing that outdoors life, you know what's up. Again, guys, this is a sponsored video by Cub Cadet. I know I said that before, but I want to make sure I get that point across for you because I don't want to get the comments. People ask me if I purchased this or what. This is a machine, a piece of equipment that was given to me by Cub Cadet for my thoughts and opinions. They're not paying me to say anything specifically. Every opinion about this product will be mine and Randy's alone. But in this video mainly, I know you guys saw some of the stuff we did when Randy got home and a little bit of the mowing we did. We're really just going to talk about as if we just opened this up out of the crate from the store. We haven't had enough seed time to really tell you if it's a great cut quality machine. It's December. The grass isn't there. The suction's not going to be there on the grass. It is blowing some leaves and cutting them up. It's 10 o'clock at night. You can't see what really is going on. We brought the lights out and stuff. So I maybe used this about 20 minutes. He's used it for about five to eight minutes. So. We really gotta wait till spring, hit it hard on the grass to really give you those thoughts and opinions on the cut quality and how this machine performs. But yeah, like I said, we're just gonna talk about the aesthetics, what it looks like, some of the options that are on it that we notice. So let's get this camera going and let's talk about the Cub Cadet Ultima ZT1. So like I said, guys, we're gonna pass it over to Randy. He hasn't had much time to really check this machine out and look at it. So I'm going to let him talk about some of the things he notices at first glance with the Ultima. I tell you what, I'm pretty excited about the shape and form of this, the aesthetics of it. It's, it's awesome. Uh, if you've watched my channel before, a long time ago, you know that I'm a fan of Cubbies. I've had one for 12 years. I've got a lot of hours on it and not a single problem out of it. So I can't talk bad about Cubby. I don't have anything bad to say. But looking at this machine, it just... It, it really gets me excited. You, you picture yourself like open wheel stock cars. It's just a frame and motor. There's no frills to it. There's, there, it's just what it is, the necessary parts. And I really like that about it. Uh, if we can move back to the motor, that'd be great. Because when I, the first thing I looked at was the motor compartment. Everything is open. You can see everything you need to see. It's all right here. Uh, your air as far as maintenance goes, accessibility is crazy. Getting rid of all those nonsense plastics you don't need, you can get to everything so easy. Maintenance is crazy. I mean, everything is accessible. And yeah, just like a lot of the stuff Randy was talking about is the same stuff I was thinking on my initial thoughts on this video. As far as the homeowner stuff, when I see the Aaron's brand of mowers, they have a lot of sharp angles and they look aggressive. And that's what I see with this. They got rid of those cream colored off-white wheels that I usually see on Cub Cadet products and they went with the black. They got rid of a lot of the plastics. You got a wide open frame. It just looks aggressive and ready to do work. And that's definitely one of the things I noticed when I first saw this product. And like he was saying, along with the aesthetics, having the mower wide open just makes maintenance that much easier. I know it's a lot different between residential and commercial, as commercial guys are using the mowers nonstop day after day, so our maintenance comes around a lot quicker. But when that time does come for the oil change or whatever, it's very easy to get to. They thought of all the stuff, open eyelets, stuff to get the uh, oil drain right out from the bottom of the mower, easy to get to on the filter. It's just simple. See, and also what goes along with the aesthetics, the way the mower looks, one of the first thing I noticed was the headlights. And when he brought it off, they automatically turned on and asked him if there's a switch. They automatically come on and I'm like, okay, well, I don't need headlights on a mower. But I said it earlier on the live, I didn't say it in this video. When I was taking this off the trailer, it was already dark when I got to your house. Dude, those helped out a ton. I wouldn't think they would be necessary at any reason, but it's a good option just to have on there. I do know that LEDs are a lot better than uh, halogen or whatever comes factory on your, just the regular bulbs. Cause mine burnt out on mine like the first year I got them from all the bouncing around. 
lights just aren't meant for that abuse. So I like the LEDs on here and there have been plenty of days where I've gotten home late just like tonight and I want to go back there and get that field done in my back of the house. And uh, I'm, kind of, I'm the kind of guy that'll do that. So going from aesthetics and the way the mower looks, Randy, get out of there, what are you doing? Oh, nothing. Let's talk about operator control. Go ahead and hop up in the seat. Before we get into some of the specs and talk about a lot of the things the machine has, Let's just talk about what we think of the mower. Things you notice, man. Oh. Some of the things I can tell you that I noticed, I didn't even notice until I got here, was this handy little multi-tool that's on here. So take that nut off of the uh, plate where your feet are to get into the belt system. And just, just minor things like that that kind of make a difference. You don't have to fumble around and look for tools or nothing. Uh, obviously, first thing that you notice when you sit down is the seat. It, it's a proper seat. It's not just an over-molded uh just a tractor seat it's not one of those this uh, this is actually it's got a little bucket stitched stick. like leather and and very comfortable it's got proper cushioning in it it's not your standard cheapo seat that you would get eh, on the old cubby and you know bringing the handles up to you it's got these ergonomic rubber pieces on them you see how they're not just completely round get your hand right on there just right so it's you know it's gonna be comfortable for a long day's mow so yeah and you know it's got some small features like the cup holder a little bitty holder here everything is very close i mean shoot everything is within hands distance your pto your on off your throttle your choke and then your deck lift on the other side which you've got to check this out. which is one of the like i've talked about that before when it came to purchasing my commercial mowers one of the big reasons i went with gravely was because of the simplicity of changing deck height. I'm one of those people that do have some customers that want things on different sizes. And it's just one of those things, you don't have to get off the mower to pull a pin to change the deck height or any of that stuff. It's just all from your operator control. Well here, check this out. I'm on four and a half inches. One inch. <laughs> go ahead and lift it up and drop it again. Just as easy as that to go from four inches to one inch. Just a, just a flick of the, I mean it. Just a flick of the, flick of the wrist. <laughs> one of the other things I'm noticing just now, on a lot of the smaller residential mowers that I've ever been on, as far as sit down zero turns, you really don't have much leg room. Like I remember my legs being kind of bent. This just seems and feels like a bigger machine, doesn't they, it? They, they did used to be back here. Yeah, you have a lot more room for your legs and everything. So one of the things that I did notice that the seat doesn't move, but, very easily you can just unloosen this and put it somewhere else so if you want it further away there you go if you want it up close to you so you can pretty much rest all day long you can put these things anywhere you want and by anywhere i think you can run it with your feet all right, guys, that's kind of us just going over some of the things that we notice when we first see this mower, the way it looks, if it's comfortable, if, if anything is anything, you know, you notice these things. But let's set this back up on the tripod and talk about some of the specs and features. Now, one of the things is the optional deck sizes. You got a 42, 46, 50, and 54. This one particularly comes with a 50. One of the other cool features is that it comes with the Turfmaster 20 by 10 tires, which gives you a very sure foot and it keeps you from tearing up the yard. Now, while going over this, like we are seriously just seeing this for the first time in our own hands. We've seen it on a shelf. Uh, earlier, I told you that the seat was not adjustable. I am finding out it is adjustable. It just doesn't have the lever in front to where you'd scoot it forward or back. You actually undo one of these and you can move the seat back in either of the four positions here. So it does have adjustment to it. And while this guy's over here measuring things, I wanna talk about the entire frame being a two inch by two inch steel welded frame, and I'm talking built in America. And another key feature, and we keep saying key feature, to me is the Kawasaki, man. I've been through Briggs, I've been through Kohler. To me, the Kawasaki's always been a tried and true. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, I do not have the entire spec sheet in front of me, but like a lot of these mowers, they do give you different motor options. If you did probably want a Kohler or a Briggs, they probably have those options. And remember, I am saying probably, I don't wanna lead you guys the wrong way. But this one does have the Kawasaki 23 horsepower motor, and to me, Kawasaki's the best, man. 
So speaking of fabrication, let's talk about the deck. It's both stamped and fabricated. So it's heavy gauge steel, stamped around and welded around the edges. This isn't your big box store deck. Uh, this is a very nice heavy duty deck. And it also comes with a limited lifetime warranty on the shell. And something else to go along with what he's talking about on the deck, they do say that this mower has the best in-class cut quality on this Ultima. Now, I can't relay that message to you guys without me being able to use it. It is December. Come spring, when I get to put this mower through its paces, we'll definitely be able to tell you what the cut quality is on this machine. So one of the easy features of this is the included wrench. It's going to be a little bit difficult to get out of here, but I like it that way because it's not going to bounce out or something. So you got a wrench right here that pretty much fits everything on this mower that is adjustable or maintained. So let's get at this one. So with just a couple of twists, you take the bolt out and you have your hinged deck lid here. And as you can see, we mowed a little bit of leaves today, but you can see how easy accessible the top of the deck is. Changing belts out is going to be a breeze. And along with this wrench, you can adjust the uh, how far your handles go forward. You can also adjust how high your handles are. So the included wrench is very valuable. So guys, like we said, we were just going to do a quick run through of this product, this machine, this mower, this zero turn CTR, whatever you want to call it, man. This is the Cub Cadet Ultima ZT1. I do think it has awesome, quick features, easy to maintain, and it looks awesome. That's, I mean, I'm one of those people, which I hate to say it, I really don't care how it works as long as it looks cool half the time. It looks cool and it is easy. Yeah, so I hope it performs as good as it looks, man, because this would be a very good mower if it does. Absolutely. So if you guys have any comments or questions on this product, leave the comments down below. I'll do my best to try to answer them, but for the most part, head on over to Cub Cadet, guys. Check out the Altima. I'll put some links in the description if I can find them. I'm pretty sure I can. So you'll be able to go there, check out the specs and get all the information you need because I can't remember all that stuff. So we definitely want to give a big shout out to Cub Cadet for sending the Ultima ZT1 out to us so we can kind of get a first look on it and share my opinions. One of the things I really love doing when it comes to products, and a lot of times you guys don't see some of the products I get, I love giving them the feedback sending those emails, letting them know what we think's right or wrong with it. And so far, for a residential mower, I think they kind of hit the nail on the head on this one. It, it looks awesome. I'm giving it three thumbs up right now. I'm gonna give it two thumbs up out of four just because I haven't got to use the other four yet. And that's how the machine operates, how well it cuts. Those are two super important things. Like we said, this video is more of just a first glance type of a deal. So we will have more videos to come on that. Like always guys, hit the subscribe button. We always have more content coming out to you. Hit the like button, leave some comments down below if you have some. Make sure you guys go check out G4 Outdoors. Hit the subscribe button over there. And uh, yeah guys, that's pretty much it. That's our first look at the Cub Cadet Ultima ZT1.